Today, we will be talking about the easiest oud to wear. Welcome to Latin Spice, my name is Manny and I'm here to help you out with your fragrance journey. So if you like fragrances, if you like this type of content, I'm gonna ask you right now to make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so that way we can push these videos out to the YouTube algorithm and everyone can enjoy this amazing content. Today we're gonna be talking about a fragrance that is probably the easiest oud to wear. A lot of people do not like oud, especially here in America, in the United States, North America, and this side of the world, the new world as they call it. There's a lot of people that cannot stand oud whatsoever. And I gotta tell you, I am probably one of those people as well. So when it comes to oud, I try to like oud, but the thing is, is just, I don't know, I just don't like it that much. It's too strong for me, that special oud that comes from Asia. So Creed made this perfect fragrance, I think, that it smells so amazing after you let it sit on you for a while. So you really have to get that dry down to get the magic of this fragrance. But it's an amazing one. Which one am I talking about? I'm talking about Creed Royal Oud. And I think that this one doesn't get the love that it deserves. Um, you know, people focus on Adventus more, Green Irish Tweed, Silver Mountain Water, and others. But this one right here is absolutely amazing. It's the perfect European oud, all right? So, um, you know, it's regular bottle, right? Just like the others. Um, you have the Siggy right there. It's not a metal cap. This one is older. I don't know if um, they have a new, um, new cap for it, but this is pretty much the one that they've used before they use the metal caps. And it's basically what it looks like there on the bottom. It's a wonderful, wonderful fragrance. I absolutely love this one. And let me just spray it on and tell you exactly what I get from it. So here we go. That's a pretty good atomizer. I mean, Crete, they don't really disappoint with their atomizers. Now, immediately when you smell it, I'm just gonna say this. You might not like what you're going to smell in the initial spray. All right, this is geared towards unisex, but it's definitely masculine. I cannot see, I cannot really, I kind of don't want a woman to smell like this. Totally for men, it's spicy. In the beginning, it's spicy. So once you spray it on a test strip, you might say, well, I don't think this is it. I don't think this is it for me. I think it smells too old. It smells more mature, but what I tell you, um, I'm not really a big fan of the opening on this one. I'm really not, okay? Uh, the opening for me, if it was just for the opening, I forgot about it, I would never own this scent, and I wouldn't understand why people would want this scent. But you have to let it sit for a couple of minutes. And when you let it sit for a couple of minutes, I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you guys, you're going to absolutely love this, and everyone that smells you, that sniffs you, they're gonna smell it too, and they're going to love it. Trust me. So as it sits, you know, the, the spiciness starts fading away. It's, um, it's like a soft, spicy fragrance in the opening. But then later on, it turns into this beautiful, sweet, amazing scent. Yeah, no more spiciness anymore. Now it's very sweet. Aromatic. And I don't know how to explain the, the, the scent. It's just very woody. It's very woody. It's like a sweet wood with a little touch of spiciness in the end of the smell. And once you get a hold of this scent, this whiff of, of of glory, of royalty, 
you are going to be amazed by it. So I, I love this. I don't wear this too much. I do wear it a lot in um, the fall and the winter time, which is probably the best time to wear it. I would not wear it in the summer, for sure. This is not a summer scent. But it is a scent where you want to dress up. You know, you want to wear a suit with this one. You want to go to a wedding with this one, a graduation party. Um, you know, something special, a Valentine's Day uh, dinner. You could totally pull this one off and I think that you will definitely score big. You're gonna smell sweet, woody, sophisticated and it's not going to be something that you're going to rock every single day, all right? This is definitely something you want to wear for a special occasion, all right? So that's what I usually do. I remember wearing this for my best friend's wedding. I was the best man and um, I loved that. I dressed up real nicely that day and wore this one and you know, you build memories with all the scents that um, you have, especially when you wear them on a special occasion, you're always gonna remember that scent for that day and you're gonna remember what you did that day. So that's pretty important, all right? So let me talk about what's actually in here and then I'll give you my ratings on this one. In the top, you have pink pepper, lemon, Sicilian, bergamot. In the mid, you have cedarwood, angelica, and galbanum. In the base, you have sandalwood, oud, obviously, and musk. Now, obviously, the big question in this, does this smell like oud? Because many people are worried about the oud sense, right? The oud smell. Um, oud is strong, and quite frankly, I think it smells very funky, and some cases, a little nasty, honestly. So, um, I'm not too fond of oud. But, is there oud in this one? I'll tell you this. Obviously, there's oud in there. It's called Royal Oud. But you're not going to get an oud smell out of it. And, you know, many people will consider this not an oud scent because you don't smell the oud. But what I can tell you is that, you know, you, you get a bit of, bit of whiffs in there of the oud. But it's just not strong. It's not something that um, our Arabian brothers will probably appreciate a lot. Um, their ouds are obviously strong and potent and there's a sound where Americans would probably gear towards so that's what I that's what I think about this one what are my ratings on uh, the projection uh, this one is easily an 8 out of 10 I think that there are more powerful scents than this one but it is pretty powerful so an 8 out of 10 is not a bad rating at all uh, when it comes to the sillage same thing 8 out of 10 it's going to leave a scent trail, but you know, it's not gonna be super powerful. Um, when, my, when my wife smells this one, she absolutely loves it. Um, and I wish she was here uh, to give her, um, give her rating on it. But she loves it and she always asks me to wear this uh, on, on those special occasions. You know, it's one of those that she enjoys. So I'm pretty happy about that. And when it comes to the longevity, this one is going to last you a long time, okay? It's definitely gonna last you. This one has to be a 10 out of 10 for longevity. It's going to be one of those that will last a long time. So no worries on that. If you get this, you're going to be very satisfied if you try it out. So I would not blind buy it for sure, but I don't think that many people are gonna say it stinks. It's one of those uh, creed sense that not many people again talk about but it's one of those that you're always going to keep in your collection just like I have and um, as an owner of various creeds um, basically I've had a green Irish tweed creed Aventus, Aventus cologne Aventus absolute um, and I have this one all right those are the ones that I really like uh, I love silver mountain water but I have uh, the dupe for that which I'll have to review soon, all right? Um, so I think that's all I have for you guys when it comes to Creed Royal Oud. Should you get it? Absolutely, if you try it, you like it, get it, all right? Um, that's all I'm going to say about this one. So, like always, I'm Latin Spice, and I'll make sure you smell nice. Take care, guys.